Hey, super learners. Um, we are going to go on a scientific adventure today. Um, and we are going to find out how to turn apples into applesauce. Um, I'm super excited because I really like applesauce. Um, so we're going to see how it happens. Um, so the name or title of our book is From Apples to Applesauce. And it is written by Kristen Thoens Keller. I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly. So this is from apples to applesauce. And because we're learning how to do something in the story, it's giving us direct information. This is called an informational text. Can you say that? Informational text. We're gonna find out facts about how to do it. This is a how-to informational text. So sometimes in um, informational text, you will find this page and it is called the table of contents. And it just tells us where to find the information and on what page. It gives us the information and what page it's on. So we're gonna start on the first page, which is actually page four. So this is um, the section called Eating Apples with a Spoon. Applesauce is a healthy food that people eat with a spoon. Some kinds of applesauce are smooth like pudding. Other kinds of applesauce are chunky. Applesauce has to be made before people can eat it. Making applesauce takes many steps. Fun fact. Applesauce can be used in place of oil or butter in cakes, cookies, breads, or other treats. So when you're baking, you can use applesauce. Amazing apples. Applesauce is made from apples. Apples grow on trees. Most apple trees grow in places that have cold winters. The cold weather helps the trees get ready to make apples in the spring. Many apple tree, trees grow on farms called apple, do you remember? Orchards, very good. Fun fact, there are 7,500 kinds of apples grown in the world. Are found all over and there are so many different kinds. Picking apples. Most apples are ready to pick at the end of summer or at the start of fall. Workers often climb ladders to pick the apples. They put the apples in bags. When a bag is full, Workers gently dump the apples into a box. Fun fact, some full-grown apples are the size of an eyeball. Other kinds of apples are almost as large as a baby's head. It's a really big apple. Because I know some babies with some big heads. <laughs> Packing apples. After the apples are picked, they are kept in cool rooms. The cool air keeps the apples fresh until they are packed. Workers and machines wash and sort the apples. The apples are put into boxes and bags. Fun fact, in colonial times, some people called apples winter bananas. Winter bananas, that is so silly. Oh, I hear my dog in the background. Kevin wants to learn about apples too. To the factory. Some apples are sold to large companies. These companies use apples to make juice, applesauce, and other foods. Workers load the apples onto trucks. The trucks take the apples to factories or big buildings with um, lots of workers and machines on the inside. 
Fun fact, the average person in the United States eats about 45 pounds of apples and apple products each year. That's like as much as some of you weigh. Wow, a lot of apple products. Whoa, this picture is so cool. I'm gonna show it to you first before I read it, just cause I wanted to show it to you. It's so cool. I can't wait to find out about it. Making applesauce. At the factories, the apples ride on a moving belt. So think of when you're at the grocery store, um, like when your mom or dad or your auntie or whomever, they put the groceries on like that, that black thing, and then it starts to move and it's got all the food on it and the cashier is like beep, beep. So this is also a moving belt. The belt takes the apples through water. Why would they do that? Mm -hmm. Gotta clean it before you can eat it. When the fruit is clean, it is ready to be made into applesauce. Machines remove the skin. Remember that's the, the outside part? The core, the middle part, and the seeds, which are in the core. Then the apples are chopped into pieces and cooked. Sugar and flavors sometimes are added. So sometimes, um, because some apples can be kind of tart or sour, um, you add a little bit of sugar to make them a little bit more sweet. But um, a lot of people sometimes add um, cinnamon because cinnamon and apples taste amazing together. Um, or nutmeg or other kind of fall flavors. So this is when it's um, the machine is removing the skin, the core, and the seeds. That on the outside is all of the skin from all the apples that they've already peeled. That is so crazy. Machines do that. To the store. Machines squirt the hot applesauce into new cans, jars, or cups. Then these containers are sealed. Um, it's very important to seal the containers that they're in so that like germs or bugs don't get inside. Companies sell the applesauce to stores. Workers put the applesauce in trucks or on trains for the trip to the store. Fun fact. It takes about 10 medium-sized apples to make a 24 ounce jar of applesauce. What? That's crazy. So there they are, it's spitting out the hot applesauce because you gotta cook it, you can't just throw it all in. Then it'd still be just apples. <clears throat> Where to find applesauce? Applesauce can be found at almost every grocery store. Apple orchards sometimes also sell applesauce. Some people make applesauce at home on the stove. No matter how it's made or where, applesauce is a sweet, fruity treat that is good to eat. <gasps> Did you hear that? Did you hear those rhyming words? I'm gonna read it again. No matter how it's made, applesauce is a sweet, fruity treat that is good to eat. How many rhyming words were there? Three. Oh, fun fact. Applesauce was the first food eaten in space. In 1962, astronaut John Glenn ate applesauce from a tube while he went around Earth in a spacecraft. That is so cool. So look, this kiddo is buying some applesauce from the store. Amazing, but true. Most apple trees do not come from apple seeds.
apple growers use a process called grafting to grow new apple trees. Can you say grafting? We learned about this in another story, but this part, it shows a really nice picture of it. A grower puts branches from one apple tree onto the stump of another apple tree. The grower uses special tape and tapes the parts together. The parts grow together to make a new tree. That's pretty cool. Okay. Over here, um, it's hands-on homemade applesauce. Um, you can make your own applesauce at home, but of course, always, always, always ask a grown-up to help you. So I'm going to read the recipe. I'm going to read what ingredients you need and how you'll do it. So what you need, you need an apple peeler, a knife, both of those tools a grown-up will use, four medium-sized apples, a large saucepan or like a pot, um, a liquid measuring cup, one half cup of water, a spoon, a dry ingredient measuring cup. So you don't wanna mix your dry ingredients in the same measuring cup because then it, they'll get wet and it'll be hard to get out. And then of course, sugar and cinnamon. So what you do, step one, is you peel, so take the outside skin off, core, take the middle piece, the core out where the seeds are, and slice the apples. Cut the apple slices into small chunks. So you slice it, and then you chunk it. Step two, put the apples in a pan with the water. Simmer for about 15 minutes over medium heat. Grown-ups are definitely going to have to help with this part because really you shouldn't be touching the oven or stove by yourself. Step three, stir in the sugar and just a sprinkle of cinnamon. Step four, wait until the applesauce cools. Eat the applesauce warm or refrigerate it and eat it cold. That's how you can make applesauce at home. I'll hold this there in case anybody wants to pause. If you're at home, you can pause this and um, you can do this at home following the recipe. And let me know how it tastes. It sounds pretty good. All right. And guess what? That is from apples to applesauce. I hope you enjoyed finding out the scientific process of making applesauce. I'll see you guys soon. Toodaloo.